this example problem, we are given the balanced equation. 4 moles of aluminum and 3 moles of oxygen is going to yield 2 moles of aluminum oxide. Remember that stoichiometry is really comparing the amount of one substance in reaction to the amount of another. And they are related in the equation by their coefficients, which tells us the mole-to-mole -mole relationship. However, we don't have mold given. We have grams given. All stoichiometry problems are going to involve three steps. Number one, convert to a mole. This is where you take what you're given and convert it to a mole. Step two is to do your mole-to-mole -mole relationship from the balanced chemical equation. And step three is to convert from a mole. Sometimes it's helpful within the problem to start listing out what you're given and what you need underneath the equation. So for example, I am given that I have 45.6 grams of aluminum and I know want to know how much aluminum oxide, so I'm going to put X grams over here. What that's going to do is help us focus on our two substances, aluminum and aluminum oxide. So we want to go from aluminum to aluminum oxide. The balanced chemical equation simply tells us a mole to mole relationship. To get from grams of to mole, we use what we learned in module two in our molar mass. And what we find is that for every one mole of aluminum, we have 26.98 grams. Got, I got that number from the atomic weight on the periodic table of elements. Now what we can look at is that I have moles. Now for this purpose of this exercise, I'm going to go ahead and stop right here and figure out what this is. So 45.6 divided by 26.98 is going to give us 1.69 moles of aluminum. So now I know that this 45.6 grams is the same thing as saying 1.69 moles of aluminum. But I don't want to know about aluminum. I want to know about aluminum oxide. So I'm going to take that 1.69 moles of aluminum. That was step one. Now in step two, I'm going to take that 1.69 moles of aluminum and convert from moles of aluminum moles of aluminum oxide. There is oxygen involved in this reaction, but for this purpose of this particular problem, we don't need to worry about how many moles of oxygen there are. We just focus on aluminum and aluminum oxide. I get this, finish this conversion factor by looking at the balanced chemical equation. There are four moles of aluminum reacting to produce two moles of aluminum oxide. So when I look at this value now, divide by 4 times 2, I see that I have 0.845 moles of aluminum oxide. 0.845 moles. But I'm not asked for moles, I'm asked for grams. So now I'm going to take those moles of aluminum oxide and I can convert from moles of aluminum oxide to grams of aluminum oxide. To calculate that, we go back to our periodic table and determine our molar mass to be 101.96 grams of aluminum. When I multiply that by the fact that that's in one mole, but there are only 0.845 moles, so I actually only have 86.2 grams of aluminum oxide. And that is my final answer. Now in the beginning, it may be helpful for you to break out the problems into these three steps. Because steps one and, two and three are steps we have already done from module two. And you should be very familiar with those. If you're struggling with steps one and three, 
then you may need to go back and review in Module 2 about the mole to mass relationship. Step 2 is the only new one. This is the one that we have introduced within this module. And when you get really good, you can start solving it out in one step. Grams of aluminum to moles of aluminum, moles of aluminum to moles of aluminum oxide, and moles of aluminum oxide to grams of aluminum oxide. I know this seems really confusing right now, but I promise you that the more times you do example problems, the more you will be successful. And you'll notice a pattern. There's not necessarily a pattern in which substances are involved, but there is this pattern here. Convert to a mole, do a mole to mole conversion, convert from a mole. So no matter whether you break out each step individually or whether you list it all together as one big problem, it's going to be the same answer. So you can do it any way in which you feel most comfortable. I do want to talk a little bit about visualizing what it is you're doing. We have, imagine over here, grams of substance A. And we can convert from grams of substance A to moles of substance A. We use our molar mass to do this. We can convert from moles of A to grams of A. This is a step we learned in Module 2. Well, let's just assume we have two different substances. Substance B. I can go to grams of B. I can go from grams to mole. Again, this separately is what we learned in Module 2. What we're really only adding, and the new thing here, is this conversion from moles A to moles B. This is based on our balanced chemical equation. Grams to moles is based on molar mass. So whenever you approach a problem, it may be helpful to list the three steps to a mole, mole to mole, from a mole. And really think about where you're starting and where you want to end up.